Alrighty, so uh, how's she going today? So I'm just down here uh, digging some dirt, and uh, this is this is day two of digging dirt. You can hear the CB going off. Um, I'm gonna title this video a little different. I'm gonna probably end up putting two titles in here. One is would be part three of hauling dirt. Uh, I got a full load here now. Um. Okay, car carrier. <laughs> car carrier. Heading to town, of course. But anyways, I'm. I got. I got the. Uh, the I, I got the CB going. And. Uh, so yeah, you know, I just like to listen to anyone that's maybe talking. I don't know who I'm picking up, but I'm picking up someone up. I don't know if they're from around here or if they're from a totally different state. Who the hell knows? Um, <coughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I got a full load of dirt here. I'm just supposed to take off. My tire's flat again. Um, well, this is for all the uh, CB ears out there. Um, as you can tell, if you look behind me, you can see nothing but trees. Well, it's kind of opened here. Um truck uh, and of course I got more I got I got trees all around me pretty much right so you would think this maybe these trees would kind of mess up your signal a little bit for your radios I don't know if they really do or not but I'm picking someone up a little bit here and there my squelch is down a little bit um, so I don't know if maybe any of the uh, CB waves or whatever you know that, that you can so you can pick up their signals. I don't know if maybe they're bouncing off that bridge or what, but like I said, I'm picking up a few people. But the thing is, a lot of people say that the CBs work better on a cloudy day than on a clear day. I disagree with that because it's it's pretty clear out. There is a little bit of a haze, but well, not smoke haze, but like cloud haze going on. Um, and my CB actually works better when it's clear out than it does when it's when it's cloudy out. I I don't know. If, maybe it depends on your antenna. This is supposed to be a four foot antenna, a whip, and I had to cut quite a bit off, obviously, to make it work because it wasn't tuning right. So I had to snip quite a bit of the antenna down. But I guess I got it to work because I'm it's working. But uh, I just find it to work better on a clear day than it does on a cloudy day. I think it depends on your, your antenna. <clears throat> um, see this antenna here, since it's a four foot, it's supposed to go about five to seven miles. I guess depending on how good you can tune it. So apparently if I tune this thing correctly, it should be going almost seven miles. I don't know if it'll do that or not because one channel is slightly higher than the other. So channel one of the channels, I think it was channel one, that was dead on. That was at a one for SWR readings. And then uh, channel 40, I believe. It could be the opposite too, I don't remember. But one of those channels was low, you know, at a one. And then the other channel was at like a 1.4. Um, so it makes, you know, that one channel is slightly higher, but it's still within reason anyway. It's below that, so that's your safe zone. As long as you're under... I believe as long as you're under a 1.5 or 2 or whatever the hell it was, you're good. And I got mine at a 1.4, so I'm good. See, my my radio works. You're not going to be able to hear anything now, but... Um, let's see here. Yeah, I got to have my squatch down kind of low for in order for it to pick up anyone. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know if anyone will talk now, but, like I said, I don't really get people that often. And we are on channel 19. Um, so, 
I say that the C, I don't know, this CB here I have is a Cobra 18 WX ST2. Okay. So it's a low end radio, but it's still a high end radio. It has your dual watch, your sound sound tracker, channel scan. It's got the weather too, but the weather doesn't work here. Um, and then my antenna. Uh, I forget what the brand is, but uh, you, my subscribers will remember what it's called. But uh, I think it's a Procom. I think I can't remember. The, the mount is actually from a Dodge Ram. It's for a Dodge Ram pickup. And I got my ground cable. It's not the best job, but fuck it, it works. I don't know if it's completely grounded or not. I know one guy said that I could... Or my friend actually said I could actually run that ground straight to the negative side of my battery. Which I probably could do, I guess. But I'm, I'm afraid it might change my SWR readings. And I have them set now. I don't want to have to buy another freaking antenna unless I have to. So, But, um, yeah, that's... That's my CB setup, you know. Uh, for the house, I'm going to get a Cobra 29. Uh, the newer style, not the classic. And then for the car, it's going to be an another Cobra 29. Um, I don't really talk to anyone. I don't. Ha I haven't talked to anyone since I've, I've installed it. But um, I kind of just like to listen. And Plus, I don't have a CB up, up in the house yet, so... Um, don't really have a use for this radio right now, right now, besides either just leave it off or, you know, just listen to truckers or something, but, it, uh, it's a, it's a Cobra 29, so, this is another thing, too, I have a problem with, um, since this is mounted on an ATV, if you turn on any lights... <laughs> Yeah, you get that too when you turn on your power. You send more power to your radio, I guess, apparently. But if I have my four-wheeler on, or even running, and I turn on my lights, or even operate my winch, I'll get a loud uh, buzzy noise from my radio. So, um, I don't know if it'll do it now or not. Not really. It doesn't do it now, but... If I operated the winch, it probably would. I don't want to operate my winch because I have it sitting to my liking now, the cable. So I'm going to leave it. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know why my radio really does that. I don't think it's supposed to do that, but whatever. So. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh. There's not a lot of CB use over here. I don't think many people have them. I think it's just mostly scanners. But even though, you know, most people around here now, fire department and police departments, whatever, they all change their radios. So, you know, you don't pick up on that hardly anymore. So. When I pick up my mic, it actually uh, changes a little bit. That's interesting. So, I mean, that's the CB I'm using, but I don't know if maybe it's different for all CBs. But I find that this, this one works better on a clear day than it does on a cloudy day. Um, the weather doesn't work anymore. Channel 7 is what we usually get. Um, channel 4 works. But that's... They're not even speaking English, but that's actually, I think, a Canadian channel, but they got a different language going on there. But channel 7, I think, is for here. Um, but it doesn't work anymore. So, a uh, weather CB was kind of a useless thing. I don't even know if I'll even set it up in the, uh, up in the car or in the house. I have a weather radio in the house, um. So I don't really need a, you know, I don't need to program it on the CB, but if I can, I will. But I plan on getting a bigger CB put on the house too, right? So I'm going with the 102-inch whip on the house. So there comes another car carrier. I suppose they're going to block fucking roads. That's what they're going to do. So that's what they always do. But, uh, yeah, so like I said, my, my CB works better on a clear day than it does on a cloudy day. I don't. 
Maybe it depends on your CB and, and, and your antenna. I don't know. I know apparently not a double of strikes. He's got a different antenna. He's got like a little 26 inch or something, you know, it's a hell of a lot shorter than this. And uh, apparently he can uh, pick up stations quite far away on a cloudy day. Um, I don't get anything on a, on, a, on a cloudy day, not really. Um, I don't know, maybe it's my ground, I don't know. It's grounded like it should be, but uh, maybe it's... Well, I can show you what my, my ground is here. Um, it obviously gets hooked here. No one told me to put it anywhere certain, you know, like in a special spot, so I just routed it. Uh, over here, there's a bolt. You can actually see the bolt right here. It's behind there. It's got some washers on it and whatnot, so it's grounded to that. Uh, I probably should have just ran it straight to the battery, but then it would have required a longer cable. So, but I guess it works. Um, we'll see what happens. And there's my coax cable. I had it coming underneath the fender, but I just brought it up here now. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I find my CB that works better on a clear day than it does on a cloudy day. I don't know. It, I think it depends on your antenna. I bet you if I went with a 5-footer, I'd probably be able to go a little further. Um, I was thinking about maybe getting another CB, or an, uh, another antenna like this, but get it in the 5-foot. But uh, for the car, I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, the Wilson the 5000 that was a 60, 62 inch I believe whip so I'm gonna probably get that for the car and for the house I'm going to get a 102 inch whip um, I don't have to get a mount and stuff for it and whatnot I can get all that on eBay with the antenna and stuff I bought all this set up here from right channel radios.com uh, I just probably plan on buying the rest of my CB stuff from but for the mount for the house um, I'm going to get that probably from eBay or something because they don't sell house mounts. So you got to make up your own or find something that you can make do. So that's my game plans. That's, you know, that's what I run there. And I find it better on a, on a clear day than I do on a cloudy day. So I don't know. Maybe it's just my CB setup or something's not right or I don't know. But it works better for me. it works better for me on a cloud on a clear day than it does on a cloudy day. So, but like I said, maybe every antenna is different, every radio is different. I don't know. Maybe it depends on how you run it too. I don't know. So I guess I'm gonna probably take off, guys. Um, this will just be a quick video. I'm probably gonna come back for another load in a little while. This is my first load for today. So, and it's only. Whew, keep reading about the little pothole there i think it's just about one o'clock yeah it's 119 actually it's a little bit behind there but that's all right so i'll probably go for another load pretty soon and uh, i guess we'll see how, how it goes dirt's coming out real nice i actually uh had, had a lot of dirt left here so i went and picked all that up that gave me a load yesterday and then gave me about half a load here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dig probably another couple of feet here and you can see all this loose dirt right here. Well, that's what fell off, right, from when you were digging. I'm going to pick all that up. That should give me about half a load, and then I'll have to start taking this down. And then that'll give me a full load. So, just keep working my way down to the bottom of the hill. And before we know it, this will be too steep, and no one will be able to, no one will be able to do anything with it. But I plan on taking more dirt out of it, too. So, um, I might have to try to see. Maybe if this gets too deep... I'm going to have to get my uncle over here and he'll have to start taking a swipe out of this. Push the grass over just to, you know, expose the dirt and then I can probably take over from there. Um, because they're not going to need the uh, grass. So I just, I just want the clean dirt. This is actually fairly good dirt now too since there ain't no grass fucking growing on it. So it's a real plus and it's coming out real nice. I, I can get a load probably within 5 to 10 minutes before it, it took me like half an hour because I was just dealing with so many roots and stuff and there goes the jet there goes the jet right there i was just dealing with too many roots and stuff i mean you can still see them kind of poking out in some places and that's what i was dealing with so um there's one right there actually right here that's a, that's a piece of root anyway it's just something this one actually right there that's a root so that's what i'm dealing with but since it's gone i'm just 
you know, I, I just get in the clean dirt and then I can get a load and get the hell out of here and be back for another one in less than, you know, half an hour. But I don't really push myself too hard. At, oh, damn bug. I usually take a little break. Um, not a long break, just a little one. So, but yeah, guys, I'm going to take off. That'll probably be it for today. Uh, I got plenty of other videos coming up. Um, so, I'm, I'm making too many videos again. So, these videos are going to be kind of out of date, but they're going to be dated anyway. But you guys will know. So, alrighty, guys. So, I'll probably make an episode four or part four to this uh, later on. Maybe either later on this evening or probably tomorrow. I'll just grab another load, I guess. Um, I don't. It's early. It's like spring. You know, the grass hasn't really even started growing here. It started a little bit, but. I basically got all summer to figure around with this so I can take my time. I'm not in a hurry to get done, but I just want to get done, you know, so I can move on to the next project. But one thing at a time, this probably won't take long. Um, if I get a load here and there, I should probably be done in no time. So, but yeah, so there you go, guys. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to take off. Uh, I'm going to take this load to the house. Grab something to drink, and then I don't because I don't bring anything with me. I probably should, but I don't. And uh, maybe try to come back for another load if I feel like it. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to take off. So, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in uh, episode four or part four, however I'm titling these stupid videos. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you guys later. Take her easy. Mm -hmm.